Hi, everyone. My daughter, Ayona Pierre, was diagnosed with cervical cancer May 2005 at age 22. I was devastated. It was, it was mentally, emotionally, financially exhausted when I found out. As a nurse, I wanted to know what I could do to save my daughter. She was not conventional, she was not for conventional treatment. She started a holistic treatment, but the cancer got worse. Only then did she decide to do radiation and chemotherapy, despite not wanting to. I was terrified about the high dose pain medication she was taking. As a mother, the worst nightmare is seeing your child suffer from such pain and disease. Iona died June the 13th, 2015. She lived 10 years with multiple complications from high dose radiation. I miss her more than words could ever say. At this time, my grief is unbearable. I you know, wanted her story to be, to be shared, to raise awareness around the world, especially in the Caribbean, where people don't have access to the, some of the resources as in the United States. As a mother, I will not wish this on anyone, on anyone. The biggest lesson is to stay on top of your annual checkups and don't think it cannot happen to you. Iona had missed one of her follow-up appointments, and when she finally went for her, for her test, cancer was found. Please, everyone, family, friends, do this for Iona. Do this for me. I would not like to see anyone or hear of anyone going through the pain that I'm going through right now. As a nurse, my hands were tied because she was diagnosed when she was 22. Thank you.